Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Michigan State Spartans and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Bulldogs are getting a very tough opponent tonight, Dick. What's the key to victory for them? Hey, they've got to do the simple things out there, and they should be okay. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Secondly, reward your big man for running the court. Get him some easy buckets in transition. Lastly, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He attempts to jump hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. From way outside. Makes it. Show the replay on that. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The shooting guard takes the pass. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. On the outside. Double team now, bad angle. From the top of the circle. Nails it from downtown. Now trying to feed the low block. Tries to turn, the defense comes up. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. Here they come now on a turnover for two. What should they do here, Dick? Let's go to timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. The small forward takes the feed. You betcha. They go into the low block. He fakes the shot. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me, that's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Arm and foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He's got a high post flasher. Time to pick up the defense here now. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes out of play. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the bucket. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Down inside. 
Well, they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to fall. I think he's trying to agitate his opponent by taunting him now. That could be a poor move on his part. He's taunting the opponent. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. <laughs> trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Number 41, pump fakes. With a little baby hook. And in and out. Michigan State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Gave it up. Buries it. Look at this effort! Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Good fake. The point guard with the ball. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Tries for two. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Trying to feed the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Nice job there by the defense. Knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. And up. Doesn't go. Grabs the rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Working it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Great anticipation defensively. Now the turnaround jumper. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. Too much. That's a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. The post flashes up high if he wants it for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. With the fake. Tempo of the game is really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Michigan State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries a three. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. On the dribble, gives it up, looking for contact. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Dick, a great battle down on the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Now it's getting high. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Oh, 
Gave it up. Steals the pass. The point guard gets the pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He squared and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. It's a fast break possibility. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Got an open. He makes the block. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams. And as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Looks at a three, sinks the shot. The frustration right there. Pushes it up. There he is, puts the ball loose. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. Glad he's on fire. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. There's the trap. Perfectly executed. Shoots from the top of the circle. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. Gotta think right now. Gotta focus defensively. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. With authority. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Look at that spacing. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Full court pass. Combs is emotionally pumped up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the inside. Puts it up, looking for contact. Tries for two. The dribble gives it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Gave it up. Too physical. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Up and inside. Defense giving some room. Controlling the ball. Stolen away. Look at this guy's speed. I mean, he just puts pressure, pressure, pressure on the defense. All the time. The way he takes and attacks the basket. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. To the charity strike. Good. The 
power forward gets the ball. And give it a race, I love shot blockers. They have such a dimension to your team. Pushing that basketball. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Wheeler in the paint. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Mississippi State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the high screen. Way off target. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. In the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Off the rim and no good. From three-point range. Gets it to go. Turns it over. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Here's a double team. Way off target. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Trying to draw the foul. Wheeler makes the finger roll. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. Entry pass in the paint. Steal. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He comes away with it. the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Steals the ball. Fast break possibility coming. For two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it through about a second earlier. Long down court pass. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. 
The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. In the paint. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. Bucket, perfectly executed. Definitely worth another look, Brad. On the outside. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys don't react to If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. There's a double team waiting there. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. They work the perimeter. That's basic. Let's it fly. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Takes away the pass. Hard foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. Stolen away. And again, they look to run. Jumps in. Nice shot. How about an instant replay? Picked out of the air. Gave it up. Goes for the deep one. He's money with the shot. With the big shot. At the half, the Bulldogs are ahead by five. This one's been a nail-biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Mississippi State displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. And he missed. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Goodman handles the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Perfectly executed. Dumps it in. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's 
spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The power forward receives the pass. And they come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Perfectly executed. Fake. For the deuce. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unblock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Picks off the pass. Ferocious defense tonight, Dick. Hey, are you kidding me? They're making me nervous. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, Mississippi State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Got the high pick. Off the rim and no good. The power forward handles the feed. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now they work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. He takes the three. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Sucker out of the game, man. Goes up for two. Tickles a twine. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. There's the trap. Stolen away. Nothing's gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as well made. Fading away, impossible to block. Gave it up. Intercepted. Length of the floor. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? There's the pick. He shoots from left of the circle. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Picks off the lazy pass. They'll work it around the arc. And it's blocked. On the dribble, gives it up. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Sets a screen for his teammate. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gave it up. The Spartans have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. 
What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Penetrates and kicks back. Here's a double team. High post screen. So effective, that screen. They work the perimeter. Leans in. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And now they'll bring it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Obvious foul. Nick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but the win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. And so is the defense, and they do a nice job. That's seven unanswered. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the outside. The ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And it's stolen away. Here we go on the break. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the inside. He goes with a jump hook. I didn't he waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He intercepts it. A great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Challenging like that really makes the offense think twice about putting the shot up. It's really almost as good as a block. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. High post player flashing. Jumped in front to take it away. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, you gotta knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Mississippi State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. He looks at the hoop. I think they're trying to make a statement. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic, and they want that stopped before any further damage is done. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. He shoots from right of the circle. He tickles a twine from three-point land. 
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He shoots from the top of the key. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Hinton steps to the line for the first time. He makes it. Second one is no good. Wheeler receives the ball. For two, doesn't go. On the dribble, gives it up. He throws it up from downtown, drains it. The Spartans are behind by 15. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Up and in. For the bucket. The rough is on, baby. This one's gotten ugly. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Looking for a good shot. They've left him completely alone. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. They're working around the perimeter. Great defense. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Picked off. For the bucket. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes. Terry look from three-point land. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. Now he's on fire. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries the turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Fakes it. Jump hook from the low block. In and out. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. 
Michigan State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Strips the ball. Gave it up. For the deuce. And he missed. Takes away the pass. Double team now, bad angle. Moving it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. He couldn't get it to fall. Hinton draws the personal. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. It. The Spartans are trailing by 10. Ouch. Screener took the worst of that one. Pushing up basketball. Help one another communicate. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I got defense reacting to beat him to the spin. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of bounds. Post flasher is open. Steals the pass. Sinks the shot. The Spartans are down by 12. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Picked out of the air. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Robs him of the ball. For two, Michigan State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Gave it up. He throws it up from downtown. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Spartans have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Tries for two. Rims out. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He shoots from outside. He gets the shot to fall. Intercepted. Working it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. For three, he buries the shot. And the ball goes.
ball's out of bounds. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the lock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Michigan State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the keys to beat him to the spot, he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They move it into the front court. Pushes it. Picks off the lazy pass. Seen him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Taken away. Transition opportunity coming up. Stolen. The ball goes out of play. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. They'll work it around the arc. Let's face it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. West goes to the line for the first time. Makes the front end of the one and one. Gets the second. They want to talk about it right here, Dick. They got to find a way to chip into this lead before it's too late. See if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Kicks it out. And the ball goes out of play. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight.
The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. Makes the foul shot. He attempts the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Sinks it. Spence. Knocks it home and one. What a poor job defensively. Nobody stopped the penetration of the ball. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Lots of rim, but not in. Dick, you said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Bulldogs played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler.